Hey guys, it's Brady McDonald at the LA Times. Last periscope of the night. Gonna do it as we're walking out. You guys can go ahead. Um, sort of wanted to give you an overview of the evening. Sort of what I thought of all the different uh, new attractions at Star Wars Season of the Force at Disneyland. Gonna do it real quick as we're walking down Main Street. Uh, and uh, here we go. Uh, you can tell folks we're at LA Times Funland. Uh, we're walking out. Pretty much Disneyland is closed. Had a great time tonight. Oh yeah, there we go. Symbol for the rebel, symbol for the dark side. Yeah, symbol for the dark side. Well, let's see if I can get you guys over there. That's pretty cool. So Brady McDonald, LA Times. Uh, you can follow us at uh, LA Times Funland. Tell people on Twitter and Periscope that we're here. And as we walk out of the park, I'm going to give you sort of an overview, recap of what I thought of the night. <laughs> so I'd have to say my favorite thing is Hyperspace Mountain. They did a really good job. If you've uh, done Ghost Galaxy, similar to that, uh, lots of TIE Fighters, Millennium Falcon, uh, X-Wings and stuff like that. I'd say if you were going to get in line for anything, tomorrow basically this opens tomorrow it officially opens uh next uh mon on monday november 16th but i would say if you are going to uh get in line for anything it'll be hyperspace mountain first that's what it's gonna be the biggest line uh next thing we did was uh oh look at this uh next thing we did was uh star tours they added a scene to that um from the new movie, or a scene based on a new movie. I really like that, they did a great job. Um, everybody will see that scene, so that's kind of cool. I would definitely do that. It's, it looked like to me like they used to do three scenes and now they do just two. Um, probably the third best thing is this uh, Path of the Jedi. It's in the old Captain EO um, theater. It's basically six minutes of uh, clips, clips, Clips of uh, of folks, uh, clips of, uh, from the, I'm sorry, <laughs> listening to them telling us to get off of Main Street. Uh, clips of um, the first six movies, and then at the end there's a trailer um, for the new movie. Uh, the number one thing I would say there is the trailer is um, probably about 50% stuff I haven't seen before, so if you're really big into seeing everything you possibly see about the movie beforehand, uh, that would be definitely something to check out. If you're one of those people that's like, uh, I don't want to see anymore, just open the movie already, uh, then um, not so much. Uh, walking down Main Street uh, in Disneyland, this is Brady McDonald at the LA Times. Follow us at LA, at LA Times Funland. And uh, let's see, we also saw and tried some of the food, I'd say, better than your typical theme park food. A um, lot of uh, cool sort of uh, take-home souvenir st type stuff. Probably the best one was the Han Solo frozen carbonite lunchbox that comes with a few of the meals. And then the other popular one was the TIE Fighter um, <laughs> uh, popcorn bucket that actually has to hang around your neck. It's so uh, big. And probably, I wouldn't call it the biggest disappointment, but clearly the thing that came last to my mind was the uh, Star Wars launch bay, where they had a lot of uh, um, sort of memorabilia and stuff like that from the movies. Um, I was kind of expecting a little bit more of a teaser to uh, Star Wars land, which obviously that's what this is going to be for the next two years. Um, and uh, so nothing like that. Uh, more just sort of like, uh, you know, models from the movie and stuff like that. And then uh, last thing was the merchandise. Um, they have a ton of new merchandise exclusive just to Disneyland and exclusive just to Season of the Force. Uh, the cheapest thing I think they had there was a, like a $32, $32 t-shirt and then the uh, most expensive thing I saw was a uh, $9,000 uh, um, stormtrooper that would sort of stand at your front door and greet people. So we're walking down Main Street. I'm going to uh, wrap it up, say I had a great time tonight at uh, Disneyland's Star Wars Season of the Force. Hope you guys had a good time following. 
Now we're gonna go around the bend here and say, there's City Hall over there. The Emporium, back around that way, there's the castle. I'll say goodnight to you guys. Hope you had a great time following me on Periscope. Uh, tell your friends uh, to come check out um, all the stuff over the next 24 hours and uh, see our whole coverage of everything from Disneyland Season of Force, the new Star Wars festival that basically kicks off tomorrow, but officially kicks off on uh, Monday. And uh, there's great moments with Mr. Lincoln, getting a little sort of farewell music. There's the train station, there's City Hall. Well, that was a Christmas tree, and I'll say goodnight to you guys. Thanks a lot for following. Mm -hmm.